Shaded up with this bucket hat. Too many girls out here. Tell my dad I might not be coming back. Back home, they all ride the wave of what everybody else say. While I'm actually out in this surfboard and I'm actually getting these rays, I know what chick in the bay. She always laughing when I say hella cool. She tell me be yourself and don't let the foreigners get to you. But it's hard to concentrate when those lips moving, those eyes looking, that white beat of my hands touching, neck kissing. Now I'm blushing. Okay, anyway, I always had a thing about Compton chicks. But this young East white rapper shit, they're not out of this. That's what I. What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I am back here with another NCAA Football 14 Dynasty feature in my team, the Washington State Cougars, and today we have the Apple Cup taking on the Washington Huskies. And this is the final game of the regular season, and if we do not win this game, I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be sitting at home during bowl season, so we do not want that to happen now, do we? So we got to play our hearts out against this team, and they are a really good football team. So, again... I had problems with my Elgato. I have some splitting to do, I guess. I had problems with my Elgato again. My Elgato has many problems. So I had to re-record this game in exhibition. So I already know the ending result beforehand. This was an excellent game, and this game does not live down the hype. So Shaq Thompson bats that one away, and Washington gets the ball back. Here we go, their first play of the game. They have their running back in the backfield in the nine formation. They're going to hand it off to Sankey. And look at the room. He has to run. He is gone. No one's going to catch him. He could go all the way for the touchdown. And it is now a 76-yard touchdown run. And now we're down 7-0. Now on the ensuing kickoff, Charleston White, who hasn't had much success returning the ball this year, he's going to take this one out. And he cuts to the left side. He has room to run down the field. He's to the 45, the 50, down to the 45 in Washington Husky territory. Now second and 12 here. We have Holiday all alone. He's dropping back, gets it off to Vince Molly down to the 28-yard line. And we have some progress going on. All we need to do here is just not freak out. And we can be good. We are going to sail on to victory. Now we get another completion to Teandre Caldwell, who's playing in the slot this time. He gets a pickup of 23 yards and a first down. And now second and goal right here. We have Leon Brooks in the backfield instead of Caldwell. We're going to hand it off to Leon. And Leon's punching this one in with all of his might. And he gets the touchdown. And it's now tied at seven. Now second and six here for Washington. They like to run that stupid no huddle like every other team in the Pac-12, except for me and a couple of other teams. They get the completion right there to Austin S. Jenkins for a gain of 16 yards. And now it's second and 10 here, 214 left in the first. Here's Price dropping back, looking for somebody open, looking over the middle. It is caught by Harvingston, and Harvingston gets the first down. Now, first and 10, next play. Draw play to Sankey, and look at the room he has to run again. He is getting many blockers to just go out there and throw the freaking bodies at the, the defenders for Washington State. So second and 10 here. Here is Price on the screen pass to Sankey and he is not going to be caught once again for the touchdown. It's now 14 to 7. Washington is moving the ball with some efficiency. We do not know how to stop these guys. Now on our first play of our second drive, 151 left. Here is Holiday trying to find somebody open. He can't. He's running for his life and he fumbles the football and it's picked up by Shelton and we turn the ball over. So first and or third and goal, handoff to Sankey, and he's punching this one in for the touchdown. It is now 21 to 7, Washington. This is just turning into an ugly, ugly game in the first quarter. But my team will not quit. It's only the first quarter. There's still plenty of time left in this football game. The screen pass to Caldwell right here, and he gets the first down. Looked like he was in a bit of trouble there at the beginning, but he dug himself out of it and gets the first down. Now first and ten again. Next play. We're going to try and go deep on this play. You know the man, number seven. You all know him very, very well. Vince Molly. He's right there. Touchdown, Cougars. It is now 21-14. We're still in the first quarter. Five touchdowns already in the first quarter. That is insane. Now, here we go again. Price, the quarterback, has his receiver Williams in motion. He's dropping back. He's looking to run. And he's going to cough up the football and... And the tables have turned here in this first quarter. Wow, we got to turn over ourselves. Here's Holiday looking over to Molly. He gets the catch and the first down inside the 20 yard line. And we're looking to score here just the second quarter beginning. Here we hand it off to Wicks, and Wicks gets the first down 
in goal for the Cougars. Now we're looking to tie this football game up. We were down by 14 just a moment ago, but now we're looking at a tie game. We're handing it off to Caldwell, and he gets the touchdown, and we have a tie game. Now, just look at how much things have turned around here in just the, the past couple of minutes. You know, we were down by a couple touchdowns, and now we have a tie game. But now we have to keep the momentum going. But with Bishop Sankey just wrecking our team right now, we don't know what to do. He is just taking the ball and just doing great things with it. I don't even know how to stop this guy. So they're going to hand it off to Sankey once again, and he is going to get another first down. This guy is just extremely OP. So... Just trying, just trying to find ways to stop him. Third down and one here. They're going to do it with the offset eye formation. And they're going to pass the ball here. Here's Price over the middle. And it's incomplete. Overthrown. And now guess what? They're in field goal range. But they're going to go for it instead. This is a big call right here. Early on in this football game. Fourth and one. They're going to pass the ball again. And look at the wide open space. Hudson has to catch that ball. Evan Hudson gained a 17 and it's now first and goal for Washington at the 10 yard line. They're running up to the line of scrimmage. They have Harving, Harting, Hartvigton in motion. I think that's how you say it. They're going to hand it off to their second string running back Collier and he's going to get the touchdown and it's now 28-21 Washington. We got to turn it around here. Second down and seven here for Washington State and we're going to try and tie this football game up. Here's Holiday dropping back. Looking over the middle it's Brett Bartolone wide open. He could have read a book after that catch. I mean, or during that pass anyway. He he was so wide open. Here is Hall. They hand it off to Caldwell. And Caldwell is going to go to the 20-yard line. To the 10, to the 5. And he's down right there for a pickup of 29. Now second and goal. We're really looking here to punch this one in and get the touchdown. Hand off to Leon Brooks. And he's punching it in for the touchdown. Now it's tied at 28. Lots of scoring here in this football game so far. 130 left in the first half. We still got plenty of time left. Second down and two for Washington. Keith Price in the shotgun with Bishop Sankey in the backfield. Price looking over the middle. It's Mikens with the catch in the first down. And we still cannot find a way to stop this offensive attack of Washington. They're a really good football team. I will give them that. They are really good in this game. So now they're taking their time. Here's Price dropping back. Looking over the middle again to Malcolm S. Jenkins. And Malcolm S. Jenkins or Austin S. Jenkins, my bad. Austin S. Jenkins, <laughs> he gets the catch and a first down. So now S. Jenkins again, and S. Jenkins gets another first down. We're just going to call him S. Jenkins. So <laughs> second and six, here's Price over the middle to Williams, and Williams gets a first in goal. 35 points in the first half, I think yes for Washington. 35 points we have given up in this first half. We have been playing like absolute shit on defense. Like defensive coordinators should be fired if they get if they give up 35 points and a half so we're going to throw it deep to molly and so i guess we're not going to tie the game before halftime oh well we still have two quarters left no big deal right price looking over the middle of williams and it's second and three on that catch he gets a pickup of eight so obviously that's more than enough so third down and four, we're trying to make that stop to try and get the ball back to tie the game up. Price looking over the middle. Again, it's Mikens. And Mikens gets a first down. And we're just trying to find something here. Here's Price again looking. Looking over the middle and... So I guess no one wants to keep possession of the ball because everybody keeps on turning the freaking ball over. Third down and two. Here's Holiday trying to find Madison and he gets the completion but not enough for the first down. But what are we going to do? We're going to go for it. We have guts. Why not? Hand it off to Wicks and he gets just enough for the first down. Just enough to keep the drive and possibly the game alive. We don't want to have to fall from more behind than we already have. Here's second and six. Holiday scrambling. Trying to find somebody open, except this time he's going to take off running. He actually gets some good yardage right here, and he's down at about the 24-yard line. And now it's third down and one at about the uh, about the 18-yard line. And we're going to hand it off to Brooks, and he is getting enough for that first down. And actually, that holiday run was at the 28. My bad. But anyway, who cares? It's in the past. So third down and six here. Here's Holly once again trying to find somebody open. He's scrambling for his life, and he's got to get rid of it, and he is taken down. 
but he does get rid of it. So we're going to settle for a field goal right here. And the kick is up, and it's good by Fernie. It's now 35-31. Still plenty of time left to pull off this comeback. So Price has Williams in motion. Here he is, bad throw, drop back. Gets the completion to Austin S. Jenkins. And S. Jenkins gets the first down for a gain of 17. Price is 20 of 25 for 260 yards and a couple of touchdowns and also a couple of turnovers. So Williams with the catch right here, and he is breaking free down to the 25-yard line. Not a very good defensive set right there. We fucked up really bad. Not tackling, not covering our guy. We're just bad on defense. I just I have nothing more about this defense. We've been playing like crap. So, again, another catch by Williams and another first and goal. So, it's not looking good. We look like we could be falling down again by at least a double digits. And here's Price on the option play to Sankey. And Sankey gets his, I think that's his fourth touchdown overall in this game. He has been all over the place. But now Austin Apudaka is in the game. And Holiday's hurt. I mean, he's only hurt for the rest of the game. It's only a concussion. So, he'll be fine uh, for the possible bowl game that we have if we ever get there so we still have one quarter left we're down by 11 here's Brugman this time he's throwing it deep to Molly and yes Apudaka got hurt so we are down to our third string quarterback Tyler Brugman this is not looking good but let's see how Brugman does filling in for the shoes of Apudaka and Connor Holiday. this is gonna be tough so we get a, a nice run by right there by Teandre Caldwell and we're set up for success but now it's third down and ten at about the 15 yard line and another tight window right there to Brett Bartolone for a gain of 16 how did that pass find its way in Bartolone's hands I have no idea first and goal right here we're gonna hand it off to Teandre Caldwell and he punches it in from a yard out and it's now 37 42 as we did not get the two-point conversion here's Price dropping back gets a screen pass oh but it's Wow, just freaking wow. We take the lead, and Brugman gets the two point conversion off to Madison. It's 45 42. What a comeback! Twice in one game, we came back from 14 down to tie the game early on, and now we come back from 11 down to take the lead by just three points off to Harvington and Harvington gets out of bounds after a big gain right there so we gotta play defense this is clutch time this is make or break this season's on the line here second and six Price looking over to the right side at Smith gets the first down and take it down after a pickup of nine yards and now first and ten again Price dropping back looking has time he steps up throws and Okay, yeah, I've been killing it with that. But that's what happens when you turn the ball over. You get mine. And I promise you that is the last one. I swear. As long as we don't turn the ball over. But third and seven, we get the first down. And they got to burn a timeout. Now with no timeouts left, all we need is this first down. And ladies and gentlemen, we get it. We get the first down and looks like we are going to finish 6-6 six and six on the season. We beat Washington on their home floor by only three points. Play of the game, obviously the go-ahead touchdown by <laughs> the, the unlikely MVP. And wow, that is just amazing. We came all the way back twice to beat these guys. And... Wow, I'm just lost for words right now. It's just, this is insane. I didn't think that, I was I was really counting my team out after that. Teandre Caldwell, player of the game, 22 carries, 91 yards, and a couple of touchdowns. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a bowl game. I'm not telling you what bowl game we're going to go to, or the team we're going to be facing. I just, just take a guess, and in the comment section, I guess your question of the day is, what bowl game are we going to go to, and what team will we face? So that is your question of the day. We beat Washington in an absolute thriller. A thriller. A one for the ages. One for the ages. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a first time viewer, please subscribe. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance and I am the mayor of Jam City. And I am out of here. Peace.